نحمده ونسلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب الشرح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل القدم لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today we are going to discuss about one ayah from Surah Tawbah In this ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked the Prophet peace be upon him to convey a message قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ آبَاؤُكُمْ وَأَبْنَاؤُكُمْ وَإِخْوَانُكُمْ وَأَزْوَاجُكُمْ وَعَشِيرَتُكُمْ وَأَمْوَالٌ اِقْتَرَفْتُمُوهَا وَتِجَارَةً تَخْشَوْنَ كَسَادَهَا وَمَسَاكِنُ تَرْضَوْنَهَا أَحَبَّ إِلَيْكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَجِهَادٍ فِي سَبِيلِهِ فَتَرَبَّسُوا حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ اللَّهُ بِأَمْرِهِ وَاللَّهُ لَا يَثِرْ قَوْمَ الفاسقين. In this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the Prophet, peace be upon him, to tell us that tell them that if your fathers, if your sons, if your brethren, if your spouses, if your family members, and the wealth that you collected, and the business that you built and fear that it might go down, and the houses that you have beautified that please you, if these things are more beloved to you than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Rasul and obeying them and doing jihad in His cause, struggling in His way, then Allah says, فَتَرَبَّسُوا حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ اللَّهُ بِأَمْرِهِ Then wait until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides. وَاللَّهُ لَا يَهْدِ الْقَوْمَ الْفَاسِقِينَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not guide these kind of people. Such corrupt people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't guide them. So we should all analyze ourselves. Do we fall in this category? Do our family ties or our wealth or our business or our houses, do these things bring us close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So we should all check whether these things are becoming an obstacle for us to struggle in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we are busy in making our houses more comfortable, building our businesses, collecting wealth, and these things are stopping us from, from obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Rasul and struggling in this cause, then we should change our ways. Otherwise, we will fall in this category and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that there is no guidance for these kind of people. May Allah subhanahu wa not make us from amongst them and guide us to the straight path and may He give us high ranks in Jannah. Ameen. Wa akhiru da'wan alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdika nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.